we, you know, we, we all, in terms of having an approach, we all have a different approach. No matter how we are, we could play the 3-5-2, 4-3-3, and we could all play it very differently. We could get our wingers to come inside, we could get our fullbacks attacking, or we could do it the opposite way around. And we could look to have rotations. I'm very much about rotations. It's very, very difficult to change the personality of the team in the short term because we are looking for results and we're looking to just pick a team and a squad that's going to get us results. However, I do like to press really high. I do like to make sure that the team are attack-minded and we like to pass the ball around possession-based play. How much of that we can get out in the, in the short term is going to be down to the work that we do beforehand. But tactically, we're looking to press and counter-press and, um, and just hopefully, in the, in the five phases of the game, try to dominate the opposition. How do we get the ball to the forwards? What, what are your plans to get the ball to the forwards? And of course, improve structurally, that we have that structure, that formation that protects our goal, because we've already considered 10 goals from those eight matches. Yeah, good question. I think uh, what we need to obviously think about is a balance with everything. We need to be able to get the ball forward. Obviously, we've been using our full backs to get forward and get try to get crosses in. We've got, you know, we, as, I think you're starting to see the team take some shape. The ball's going up to Mikel Antonio. It's starting to hold and he's starting to get some players to support him. And we're able to build and put a little bit more. I, I like to build play. I like to book play. I like to get the, the midfield players on the half turn playing forward. It's not necessarily a formation, it's a, it's a style. So whether you play 3 4 3, 3 5 2, 4 3 3, the players all know what style they're playing in. They want to be able to play, uh, play the ball around corners, play off one and two touch, circulate the ball really quickly, and make it difficult for people to, to get close to you. So it's really, really important that. Uh, we get the work into the players. Like I said, in the short term, it's, it's quite difficult to make that happen straight away. But there are things like reacting in the transition, winning the ball back quickly, and getting the ball forward as much as we can uh, in, in, in a controlled manner. Uh, and, and really, just being attacking base, an attacking-based team, that, for me, is the way how we do it. But in terms of formation, it's nice and question. Uh, it's not about formation, it's about style. And if we can get that style going, then we'll start to see players looking a, a lot more comfortable. I would bring you to my follow-up question. That style only works if we're able to maintain possession, you would agree. One of the biggest challenges we've had is that we, we constantly turn the ball over, especially in the, in the midfield or in our defensive third of the field. You know, how do, how do we fix that? Can you fix that in the short term? I mean, yes, I mean, you, it's the way how you ask the players to play. So you're asking them to play a certain way. We have got players who can receive the ball and keep the ball in those deep line midfield areas. We've just got to make sure that we create situations for, for us to be able to not lose the ball and focus on that and really focus on keeping the ball. Sometimes you might have to. Depends. I mean, the, the opposition have the answer, don't they? I mean, if they come on a high press. You might have to go around it, or you might have to go over it. If they're, if they're central, if they, if they want to keep their team central, you go around the press. And if they go wide, you can go through the press. So it's about playing what's in front of you and answering what Floyd, the opposition, brings me. And what I want to do is create a hard thinking players and think on the spot and understand what the opposition do and react to that quickly. Alright, thank you so much. Huh? All the um, one other thing, Coach Leon. Leon hasn't put his best far in the qualifiers. We know he has been beset by injuries. Any special plans for him to try and get him up to the standard we know he can perform? And also, any other plans for Mikel? He has been flying. Any other consideration for Mikel and Tony as well? Leon and Mikel? Well, Mikel has been. You know, Mikel's he's in form in the international. I think he's really got the bit between his teeth in terms of wanting to score, wanting to do well for the country. And the Mikel Antonio 
who's fit, ready to go and focused, is a world-class player, as you can see every week in the Premier League. With, with Leon, I was a winger myself, as well as a forward, and it's about just getting him the ball all the time. Really making sure that he can get the ball, and really making him feel confident that he could, you know, if he, if he doesn't have a particularly great moment, no problem, that's gone. Don't live in the past. Let's get in the future. Let's make sure that we focus on the next one, the next one, because what we're dealing with is a world-class player. And even world-class players have times when they're not producing the goods. So maybe we could set some goals for Leon in games. Uh, maybe we could get Leon the ball all of the time and just make sure that he, he feels confident about taking people on. And if, if he takes somebody on nine times out of ten and he gets rubbed nine times, or he, cr- he crosses the ball on the tenth time to be able to win us the game, that's all anybody's going to do worry about and, and think about and then people are talking about. It's about instilling confidence into these guys and, and really just believing in them and showing them that we believe in them. Coach, uh, kind of a follow-up to Leighton's question about um, keeping the ball. And any thoughts about getting more creative players in this field? Because uh, keeping the ball has been one of our issues. As, as, as Leighton mentioned, we turn over the ball a lot. The first question is, it's, it's about focus for me. Yes, you, you know, it, you, could, you could change players, you could do whatever. And with that, I mean, the Mexico game is really starting now. So we're starting to focus on which players that we can call. It's really an open, it's really an open field for who we pick in midfield. So it's about making sure that we, even if we have those players, it's about making sure that those players prepare themselves right and try not to lose the ball, try not to, to, to give up possession, even though that some, sometimes they might not have looked like the greatest players in the world. Again, we need to pick ourselves a team that's going to win us the game in football. And sometimes we may need to win a battle in the field and then bring on the players we can play. So it, it, there's lots of different permutations that you can use, but we're, yeah, we're, we're still looking for, for, for players that can improve us in any position. Really. 